Hi everyone! In this video, we will explore how to create automations that streamline your unique workflows within Triple Seat. Automations in Triple Seat consist of pre-programmed tasks and discussions triggered by various actions throughout an event's lifecycle, and they can be associated with events, leads, or bookings. Utilizing automations is an excellent way to manage daily tasks efficiently and ensure consistent communication. To access my automations, I will navigate to settings and click on automations. Here, I can view all existing automated tasks and discussions, filter the types of automations displayed, and recover any previously deleted ones. When creating a new automation, I must first create the details and set rules to enable it. Each automation needs a name and an assigned location. Next, I select a trigger, which is an action in Triple Seat that will automatically initiate the task or discussion. If I am using an event trigger, I can restrict the automation to specific event types and event styles. For example, I might set up an automated discussion for additional deposits required for weddings. By expanding the options, I can select wedding under event types. I can also just leave these options unselected to apply the automation to all event types and styles. If I remove an event type in the future, I can reassign connected automations to a different event type. For this automation, I will start from the beginning of the event's life cycle and select the trigger lead converted to event. When a lead is converted, my team needs to perform two actions. Contact the lead to confirm the next steps and begin preparing a set of documents. With automations, I can actually create one automation to be both a discussion and a task. This will then streamline the first requirement by sending an automated discussion to the contact while the second requirement becomes a task for the user. Next, I will set the due date slash send date to zero days after the lead conversion, ensuring the automated discussion is sent immediately and the task is due the same day the lead is converted. By toggling create an automated task, I can set the task type and enter a task body, which should be written as an actionable step, as this is what the user sees as the task. Then I will want to assign the task. Our best practice is to use the smart task assignment, setting the event owner as the task owner. Once triggered, these tasks will appear on the tasks tab, the dashboard, and in a daily digest or task email. Next, I will toggle create an automated discussion. I will complete the fields for the sender and select an email template. Automated discussions do require a discussion email template to be attached in order to be created. Templates created in my profile cannot be used for automated discussions. The sender can be the owner, manager, or a specific user. When I click on this dropdown, I will see that only my lead email templates are available since the trigger relates to a lead. Finally, I will click save to create my new automation. Now I will convert a lead to an event to see this automation in action. Once converted, I can see in the task tab that this has now automatically created a task for the event owner to start preparing documents. As a reminder, the due date and send date for this automation was set to zero days after the trigger action. So the due date for this task is today. It's important to note that a user can still create manual tasks on a lead, event, or bookings task tab, the tasks page within the left-hand navigation panel, and the dashboard. When I click into the discussions tab, I will see a new thread created for my automated discussion that is pending to be sent. This message will only take a few minutes to send. If I refresh the page or return to it in a minute, I will see a new thread created with the sent discussion. Each automated message creates a separate thread for that discussion and any replies. As a reminder, this automation is only triggered once the lead has been converted. This means that when I edit this event to change the status to tentative or definite, no other automation will occur unless I have one with the trigger relating to either of those actions. Next, I'll create an automation that functions only as an automated discussion. This is a crucial discussion we use always in our daily workflows, the thank you and rebook email. This communication is essential after an event and should be carefully configured. 
My team understands the necessity of using the closed status at my venue for more accurate reporting and consistent calendar management. We all have agreed on two things that need to happen before an event can be closed. First, the event date and time need to have come and gone. And second, all payments must be reconciled for the event before it is closed. Our thank you emails should never include outstanding payments. For this automated discussion, it makes the most sense that it would only be triggered to send once an event has a closed status assigned to it. I will set the send date to one day after the event closes to allow time for final adjustments. I want to ensure the send date is set to one day after the trigger action. I don't want it to be sent one day after the event passes, just in case there are any outstanding payments that need to be taken care of. And I also do not want the email to be sent immediately after it has been changed to closed, just in case the event did not go smoothly and I need to reach out to the contact before sending this thank you email. The event owner is set as the sender and the email template is the thank you and rebook template we have, which includes links to a post event survey as well as my triple seat lead form, encouraging my contact to consider rebooking with us in the future. I will save the automation and switch an event status to close to trigger this discussion. On the discussions tab, a new thread appears for the pending automated discussion, which is scheduled to be sent the next day at 9.15 a.m. All automated discussions set to trigger one or more days after the trigger action or date will be sent at 9.15 a.m. in the local time zone configured within the group preference settings. In the discussion center, I can see all of my pending automated discussions in the pending tab. Whether in a discussion tab or the discussion center, I can either cancel the pending discussion or choose to edit it and send it instantly. Canceling an automated discussion here will only delete this discussion for the event. The automation within settings will remain for all other leads, events, or bookings triggered by the action. If I click edit and send, the email editor window will open. And if I choose to continue, the message will send immediately instead of the scheduled time and also designate me as the new sender instead of the one assigned in settings. Suppose I need to make any adjustments to a pending automated discussion. In that case, the best practice is to edit the associated discussion email template. When an automated discussion is sent, it will pull the latest version of the email template associated with it. For example, we actually also want to include our triple seat direct form link in this thank you and rebook email. So I can easily now go to settings and discussion email templates and add that link to the specific template before this discussion is sent. Here, on the specific discussion email template, I can see which automations are using this template to ensure my team is aware of any automations that would be affected by this change. Automations are also designed to provide troubleshooting support for multiple errors that may cause an automation to fail to trigger a send. For example, suppose an email template is deleted or a user does not have access to a location but is designated as the sender of an automated discussion. In that case, an icon will appear next to the automation to explain the error and how to fix it. I will also receive a message if I try to create an automation that has an error preventing it from working. I can see these error messages within a lead, event, or bookings discussions tab and the discussion center as well. Users with access to reports can also view a comprehensive list of automated discussions within the pending automated discussions report and a complete view of manual and automated tasks within the tasks report. These reports are crucial for maintaining oversight and ensuring all communications and tasks are on track. By using these automations, you can enhance your efficiency and ensure consistent communication across your team. Built to cater to the needs of hospitality event professionals, Automations will improve guest satisfaction, streamline workflows, and boost productivity, giving you back more time in your day to manage your events more effectively. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or are interested in suggestions for specific automations to create and use, please reach out to our support team, support at or by clicking on the help question button on the top right hand of any page in Triple Seat.